here. Come on in. Amazing, me and you are having a moment. Oh my god. Chocolate and tea. It's crazy. It feels very, very surreal right now. Doing very well. Oh, toot toot. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, how are we doing? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. This one's quite a nice one, quite bougie. And look who's here. Come on in. Look, we've got, we, we always do this with the scarves. Yes. Very festive, isn't festive. it? Very nice. Warm. <laughs> it's raining today. It is really. It's covered. Very, very rainy. We're in just off of Bond Street and we've got quite a nice day. Yeah. yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, gosh. So we're going to the Marriott County Hall. Which is a hotel I've loved forever, and yeah. you've loved it forever as it's well, It's beautiful. Right? It's right by the London Eye. It's fab. So we're not staying there, but we are having a champagne afternoon tea. How nice does that sound? It's very lovely. So we're going to go. Um, we're a little bit early because we've been doing some photos in town because, of course, it's Christmas, so why not? So, um, yeah, we're going to head there, and then we're just going to have a lovely afternoon. But I thought I'd film it because I know a lot of people are coming to London this Christmas. Yeah. So um, I thought it'd be something nice to do, like a quintessentially British afternoon tea. Yeah. Sounds lovely. So I'll film along the way. Um, are you vlogging today as well? Not today. Not today? No. Oh, he's having a day off. He's having a day off. Very rare for Mr. Yeah. to have a day off. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys as and when, but I thought I'd just start the vlog because I forgot to do that. <laughs> So we have a bit of time before our afternoon tea, so we're gonna take a look in Ralph Lauren, because Ewan said the homeware is amazing, so we're gonna head on in. Inspiration, Ralph Lauren home. Amazing, me and you and are having a moment. Oh my god, look at that. I was just into you and on my little watch list is one of their classic teddy bear jumpers like this. Look, he's got his little smoking jacket on. Lovely, aren't they? Just you and I think this is my favourite room. Wow, this is actually magic. Look at this living room the wood on the walls. We are literally downstairs in a London building and it makes yeah. it feel like we're in a country home. I feel like we're in the Highlands or something. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Especially with your tartan. Yeah. <laughs> Just about to walk inside. This is the Marriott County Hall. Oh my goodness, these trees are beautiful. So we've just arrived at the Marriott County Hall. I look a bit um, windswept. <laughs> Basically walked through like a torrential storm. It wasn't so bad, but anyway, we've arrived and it's, oh my goodness, you can see he's in the champers. I've left mine on the table and it's beautiful. Sam was just saying, Sam's here by the way as well. Hello, hello. Sam was just saying that this is basically, it used to be a functional county hall, right? So it's where all the members of parliament, which is literally just, I'll show you through the window, but they all used to come and have their meetings, of course. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it in style. So this is the afternoon tea we're gonna be having, but it's basically overlooking. So that structure there, me and you were just saying it's such a shame, but that's Big Ben. And then just behind it is obviously the Houses of Parliament. And then you've got the London Eye, just creeping around the corner over there. If you can see it, I'll get a better view of it. This is beautiful, I'm so excited. So we just had a tea um, masterclass, basically. We're having the full origins of tea, which I, I know us Brits are known for our tea. We are, aren't we? You're more, we are more of a coffee guy, aren't you? Yeah. I do, you and tea. You do like a tea, though. I do yeah. enjoy a tea. Tea's not very often. No, it's yeah. only like my afternoon tipple. Yeah. Um, sorry, it's a very awful angle. However, this is very nice. It's not your classic English breakfast. It's more, um, 
it's just more like robust tea, but it's a lovely colour. And then we're gonna we're gonna dig in for the afternoon tea, which is festive. Didn't know that. I'm quite excited. Yeah. So this is the tea box that's just arrived, and this is the choice of 12 teas you get when you have an afternoon tea here. And there's a Marriott County Hall blend as well, so you can have that as a choice, which looks gorgeous. We're just giving the teas a bit of a smell, and we've come across this one. Is it chocolate? Was it chocolate spice? Chocolate and tea. Did you have the chocolate one? It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's very chocolate. I could just have a cup of that absolutely no problem. Man, for it smells like that, isn't it? Oh, it's it's just tea leaves. Very good. So our teas have just arrived. I've gone for a Darjeeling tea. And um, what tea did you go for? Are you? I think it was oolong. Oolong. Oh, my camera's there. We go oolong. Oolong. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so we've got to. Um, we have to leave these to brew. Oh. Yeah. Gorgeous though. Wow. We just had a look at the um, chinaware. So if any of you are interested, it's, um, it was made for this actual hotel, and it's by William Edwards. It's lovely. Say that it meant to like the window. Yeah, it's basically designed to mirror the um, cabinetry, which is very interesting. I do love these. These types of books. Afternoon tea has just arrived. We just had a chat from the pastry chef and said all of the cakes are actually vegan, which is brilliant. It looks beautiful. This is my little selection of vegetarian sandwiches too. It's got a little glass of bubbles. Oh, are they scones underneath? Yeah. They are. We've got them. Freshly baked. They are freshly baked wow. buttermilk scones underneath. Ah, <gasps> gorgeous. Look at those. So I'm back home now and that was honestly such a delicious afternoon tea. Very, very special obviously with the carol choir. That was, that was poor. Anything like that just makes me like get the tingles. It was just, I just said to you and I'm so grateful that we can experience these things in London and the lovely team at the Marriott basically said, see that hotel steeped in so much history, that the unveiling of Big Ben, so obviously the huge clock tower in on Westminster that is Kind of like, I'd, I'd honestly say London's biggest and most famous landmark. It's been under huge, massive, not reconstruction, but they've basically been doing a lot of restoring to the clock tower. So they've completely polished it and refined it and they've been doing it since I think 2018. So it's been a huge project. I moved to London in 2016 and it wasn't long after I'd moved that they'd completely covered it in scaffold. And so next year, in the first quarter, and in April, they're going to be taken down at least half of the scaffolding, which is huge. So definitely check out the Marriott County Hall because you can have an afternoon tea or look and I'd say London's nicest landmark. So yeah, it was very special. And the lovely tea makers of London have given us a little gift to go away with. So we've got a artisan flower and tea gift set, which has one of the flower and artisan tea bulbs. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. I love that. It's the um, handcrafted stun and bloom and tea. So these are the ones that actually, when you pour water on them, they like bloom and a tea expert flower and teapot which is just so lovely and then in here i think this is more tea i just had a look and um, yeah we have some um tea timer which is obviously very handy when you're brewing tea and some angie bai chai bai cha um mr gao zing's farm which sounds very very nice we're just settling down to have dinner. This is yesterday's leftovers from the previous vlog. It doesn't look as appetizing as it did yesterday. It's basically all the stuff that I just made too much of. So we've got cauliflower cheese, a mushroom and leek sausage, red cabbage, roasted potatoes, and one stuffing bowl and gravy. This is dessert this evening. I just finished up shooting some photos. This is for a um, job with Waitrose. It's showcasing some of their Christmas range. So we've got the cognac and butter mince pies with some Cointreau and orange thick double cream. And then this is the Naduya, um, no, that's not correct. It's basically like a Spanish chocolate cake tort thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna dig in.
Hello everyone, so today is Tuesday the 7th of December and it's a very exciting day today. I don't know if I can fully reveal what I'm doing, however, it's very exciting and um, I think I'm able to say kind of what it is. Um, I'm going to be going to a photo shoot this morning um, in West London and it's for a magazine, <laughs> which is just mad, like how, how, how? Um, I will find out if I can actually reveal what the magazine is and what I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't know too much about the legalities of it, but I do know that it's, it's very exciting and it's going to be out next year. So it's crazy. It feels very, very surreal right now. Um, but yeah, the time's about 8.30. I was up at 5am this morning editing. Hello Maggie, she's just down there. Um, yeah, I was up at 5am this morning editing to try and get ahead for the day. <laughs> Sorry, she's playing with her toy. So um, yeah, I've got about 10 minutes until my car comes to pick me up and then we're heading to the studio. I think someone's excited. So I've just arrived at Lancaster Gate. It's quite fancy. It's the typical West London White Houses. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous. I'm very glad I was editing a vlog in the car because the set of my nerves distracted me. Um, not there's anything to be nervous about. It's just not really the norm to be, you know, in a room with really cool people doing a shoot. So I'm... Um, yeah, I just need to try and find out where I need to go. <laughs> So I'm back from the shoot. Oh my goodness, that was, I just had the driver come, like drive me back to my flat and I literally just spent the whole entire journey just thinking like, how is that my life? How is this real? I can't say what it was for, but what I can say is that it was for a magazine in the UK. It's quite a big magazine and um, yeah, it's gonna be out in January. <laughs> it's crazy, I've just been in a room with some of the most incredible people like singers, um, actors, West End performers, um, a snowboarder. I honestly, I've said this before, but thank you all so, so much for all of your support. Continuing to watch my videos, leaving lovely comments. You are the best and you make things like this possible and it's just amazing. We've just been celebrating something that I really love and they invited me along for my food and it was just, yeah, it's just given me the biggest, I don't even know the word. It's just giving me the biggest like boost of confidence just to just carry on with the food content and just really push. I want 2022 to be the most amazing year and I'm just gonna give it my all. I can't believe it, honestly, crazy. I managed to get some bits and bobs, I'll insert them obviously before this, but madness. I need to walk Maggie and then um, yeah, I'm gonna go to an event this evening with Creed, which is very exciting. It's at the Sofitel in London, so busy all day. <laughs> I came in yesterday from shooting with you and after the afternoon tea and Zara had been doing some Christmas wrapping. It's the presents under the tree are getting bigger and bigger aren't they Maggie? And a couple of those are for you. <laughs> a couple of them are for you darling. Yes they are. Would you like to go for a walk? <gasps> Would you like to go for a walk? Yeah? Walk? Right, quick change and I am heading out for the evening. I feel like I'm wearing a lot of suits as of late which is um a rarity and something we definitely didn't do a lot of last year so I feel like we're making up for it. Um, so this suit actually was from Primark. I've had it for about three years I want to say, maybe four years. It's a double breasted um, tweed suit with um, some double pleated pants and I am wearing a uh, green turtleneck collar and a little pocket square just for a bit of detail. So um, I don't, did I say where I was going this evening? I'm not sure I did. Um, I'm heading to the Soft Hotel in London, which uh, is a fantastic hotel and it's in partnership with Creed, uh, the fragrance brand, which is lovely. I've had this bottle of Creed for about two years. I really try and make it last and only wear it on special occasions. This is Royal Oud and it's absolutely gorgeous. I get so many compliments when I wear this fragrance. I'll leave a link down below. I'm not gonna lie, it's slightly more on the premium side in terms of fragrances, but the longevity and you need such a little amount and it makes you smell lovely, so I'm, um, yeah, firm favourite.
So I've just arrived at the Soft Hotel. This is absolutely gorgeous, just off of Waterloo Place. And this is one of my favorite places to take photographs because of this gorgeous tree. So we're about to head on in. And lo and behold, we have more building noise. I know it's been the anthem of Lokmas so far. It's just how it is. Oh, look who's here. Look who's here. I wasn't sure if you were getting changed. <laughs> just got the Christmas jumper on. <laughs> we're filming our annual Christmas videos today. And Mags is running around causing havoc in the back. <laughs> um, you guys will see these after this vlog goes live. So keep an eye out for those because we're doing our classic Christmas videos that we do every single year. I think this is our fourth year. I do yeah, this. Yeah, isn't it? 2018 we started. 2018. Yeah. Now we're in 2021. Madness. And we're allowed to film inside now. So it's all good. Yeah. We're not outdoors like last year. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we just made ourselves some coffee and we're gonna get cracking. So Ewan has just left and I walked my game back home in my comfies. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. But it's always, it's such a blur when we film our Christmas videos and <laughs> let me show you the kitchen. This is the aftermath. <laughs> These flowers need to be taken down to the compost and yeah, lots of cleaning up and dishes to do. But I need to crack on with some work because some emails and bits and bobs came in while we were filming. Or you can kind of see one of the bits that we did behind us. It looks really nice. Um, so yeah, those videos will be coming super, super soon. I'm very excited. I need to sit and edit them. It's a crazy old time here. <laughs> so I'm just cooking dinner this evening. We've gone for a lovely creamy pea and mushroom fusilli with like a nice garlic cream cheese white wine sauce. It is so good. And we're having a glass of Prosecco. This is what was left over from when we were filming with you and so it'd be rude not to. And little Maggie Moo's just arisen from her nap. Hello, lovely. <laughs> Hello, so it's the next day. Classic me, didn't end the vlog yesterday. I think I was just really, really wiped out after filming with you and we filmed four festive videos. As I said, they'll be coming after this one. And yeah, I think by the end of the day, we were both quite tired. So we literally just ate dinner and um, I went to bed. So I'm ending this vlog here. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a jam-packed one. There's been a lot going on in this one. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it. And do keep your eye out for the uh, videos coming soon because they are fantastic. So yeah, that's love. Take care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.